They're looking for people who are committed to building an economy. If all Kenyans can flourish, an economy which benefits as a whole rather than a few individuals. In this exercise, we must confront a few realities including the fact that some of our members and leaders are not as active in their communities and branches as they should be. We must do away with an unreliable and slow system of issuing membership cards and also do away with undemocratic tendencies that keep would be members away. We must address the issue of and the uh, uh, impact on operations and performance of the party, that is discipline and camaraderie. Without discipline, you can't achieve much. You must also do away with the problems of gatekeeping, keeping people from joining and renewing and therefore participating in the life of ODM. At the end of the exercise, we must have millions of new members. It must be clear to all that the organization is growing. I want to conclude by saying that from the experience I've seen, I've seen a lot of interest in the party. But a new a development, which is actually retrogressive, that we see in some parts of our country. And I've seen it in the coast, I've seen it in uh, Upper Eastern, I've seen it in Northeastern, I've seen it here in Nairobi, I've seen it in Western, I've seen it in Nyanza, the issue of early campaigns. People are in campaigns, and we hardly one year from the last elections. We still have got four more years to go. But this is bringing a lot of tension among our members. And people campaigning, they want to be MCAs. Those who are elected as MCAs campaigning, they want to be MPs. They have hardly served the people to, 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 to qualify. It is what you are doing to the people as an MCA which will endear you to the larger constituency. Then you have got people elected as members of parliament who are campaigning to be governors. You have hardly served the people as a member of parliament. You already are declaring and you have having a committee campaigning to be a governor. Some people elected as senators campaigning to be governors or women reps campaigning to be governors, our members of parliament. I want to say that time is going to come. Time will come. But allow those who have been elected in those respective positions to serve now, giving them the support that they need so that they either succeed or they fail. In a normal democracy, campaigning starts one year before the elections. You can see now in the U.S., people are declaring candidatures for senators, for governorships, and for the presidency. Because the election is next year. Then you will have a, one year to do with the campaign. So what I want to say is that it is not right for us. We see a lot of enmity being generated among our members. Because everybody is now already in a full swing campaign, four years later, and you find some people have hired our youth. The youth are running around this time, fighting, put a lot of tension. This should end. <laughs> so, um, I think basically that's what I wanted to say here. I want to listen to those. Uh, paparazzi. And I can ask what
Do you have any questions here? Okay. Uh, Your Excellency Apollo TV 47. Um, this the issue of uh, other leaders, uh, leaders from other political parties uh, who are campaigning uh, in ODM areas. Uh, what's your take on that? Um, number two, there is the issue of uh, discipline in the party and especially the rebels. Some of them have been appealing to you uh, to reconsider the decision uh, to do with expulsion. What's your take? Thank you. Well, uh, we cannot really control members of other political parties are campaigning in our regions because we live in a democracy. They are very much welcome, except what I've just said now, that it is too premature for people to begin campaigning uh, across board. This applies across board because it generates a lot of tension. You divert people's attentions and energy from productive work. So my advice to them would be also bid your time. Time for campaigning is going to come. Uh, with regard to uh, discipline in the party, there are of course clear rules and guidelines how in discipline are handled. And as you know, we have uh, a committee that deals with matters of discipline. Then we have got respective party organs that handle those. So if somebody is un unhappy, the manner in which his case has been handled, he has the right to appeal through the normal channels, and this appeal should be, had, ha will be handled. You see, there are rules that must be observed. We must strengthen multi-party in our country. If you are elected in a, on a particular party's ticket or a coalition, you actually are basically uh, uh, co confined to serve that party for that five years uh, uh, mandate. If in the middle of that period you feel dissatisfied with that party, the one to cross the floor, then, of course, it is a democratic right. But the, the rules have been that you resign, you go back to the electorate, and seek a fresh mandate from the electorate. This is what we are saying. So we are saying those members who don't want to be in ODM are free. They have their democratic right to move to wherever they want to move. But allow us and our supporters are an opportunity to test your popularity. Let us then also have another candidate to replace you. Next. My name is David Muthoka from KTN. And yesterday you released a dossier on the G2G deal.